Hey, I'm Jisoo and welcome back to the Kalisto Protocol. Yes, I know, this game is still <laughs> alive and kicking 6 months or even 7 after initially coming out. That's crazy. So this is the final, the very last DLC I think for the game. It is a story expansion called Final Transmission and yes, you have to pay to, to get access to it. Yeah, basically you have to pay if you want to see the real ending of the game because we know, we know when we saw the, the ending of the game, the main game, we, we all felt like we were being robbed, right? It's, it's like you, you go to a restaurant, right? You order a burger, you're eating and halfway there, the, the waiter just comes back and takes the burger away from you like, hey, hey, give it, give it back to me. So that, that's how you felt. And you have to pay to be able to eat the rest of the burger. <laughs> Oh man. Hey, 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 hey. Also, it's only available on PlayStation right now, the DLC. You have to wait if you play on PC or Xbox. You have to wait until June 29th, I think. If you want to <laughs> if you want to finish the game. Oh my god. Anyway, anyway, let's talk about the, the DLC. I think you can tell that I have a lot of energy. I'm pretty pumped. I was excited about the DLC. I was excited to see where the game would go after you know the the events we witnessed in the main story and it's kind of disappointing that i don't know i don't know if this was intentional if they meant to sell us the rest of the story or um, they wanted to make a sequel and things didn't turn out the way they wanted so they decided to make it a dlc instead i don't know but it felt it feels i don't know it feels i feel weird you know when a company sells you a game and you have to pay to you know see the ending of that game so i, th I think the other price of the game is like what 80 dollars now 90 Th that's a lot of dollars too <laughs> just to end the game anyway uh i was able to complete the the dlc the final transmission in about three hours and mind you i was taking my time the same way i was also taking my time in the main story uh for the main game where i also got the platinum trophy uh, it was about 9 hours for the main game and 3 hours for the DLC give or take, so overall, 12 hours. 12 solid hours of playtime, of exploring, of swinging and dodging and... Um, so not, not a lot of new things. It's, it's a pretty familiar uh, experience if you played the game before. This is, again, it, this is the sequel. It's not even the sequel, it's like the direct. <laughs> continuation of the main story like it picks up right up after you um i don't want to I, want, I don't want to spoil anybody but i think if you're here you probably know what the game is about or you just want to know what the game is about but at the end of the game something weird happens and you have to escape but you can't because you have done the escape so you kind of stuck and then you wake up and well things just keep going right <laughs> you just have to make your way out because there's another way out and it is the type doctor helping you, Molly, I think she's helping you trying to find the escape. And there's also, there's also a new weapon, a hammer. But you only get the, the hammer toward the end of the game because it's kind of broken. And also because your baton, your very trusted baton, breaks. And okay, in case you want to play the DLC, you have the choice to either start a fresh, you know, a fresh new file or use the one where you complete the main game, right? It's like new game plus, but not really. I advise not investing any more of your credits, your Kalisto credits into the baton because spoiler alert is going to, it's going to break. The baton, your very trusted baton is going to break. And for that reason, you should spend your credits on another weapon or maybe buying some injectors or maybe some ammo. I was playing on the maximum security difficulty and even then the hammer was one-shotting everything what, which wasn't a special enemy and yeah, one-shotting people and destroying even those speeders. I, I hate those guys but do keep in mind that you only get the hammer toward the end of the game so you don't get to spend much time with it but for what it's worth, it's really good. It one-shot everything which isn't a special enemy. Right, it's good, and they also introduced some biopods, which are mutated robots. And the way they behave is very similar to the enemies you already encounter here to fall. And the problem with the Kalisto Protocol, as I said before, is it all comes down to the mechanics, the combat mechanics. They can't do anything new, you know, even if they introduce new enemies, it all comes down to swinging. So it doesn't matter if they introduce, for example, Melania or Rattan 
of the orphan of course all they will be doing is swing left and right and because of that they are kind of trapped in the in with you know swinging left and right and you dodging left and right which is unfortunate but the, the robots they do have uh, the ability to explode sometimes and you have to go away or you can block the explosion uh, or you can try to interrupt them but yeah other than that the robots are basically just the inmates you know the mutated inmates but on steroids that said i died multiple times <laughs> i gotta be honest i died multiple times but it's not a skill issue right i was perfect dodging left and right but that's not the problem the problem it all comes down to this turn-based combat system where you have to wait for your turn it doesn't work when you get surrounded by even more than two enemies because some of them can get behind you and hit you from, from the back and it's kind of pointless to try to run away you know because it doesn't you don't run away in the Kalisto Protocol. It feels like whenever you turn, it, it, the enemies are going to be right there up in your face. And you, you, can't, you can't get any distance between you and them. And also, the auto, the auto tracking or whatever when you try to swing, it really annoys me. Sometimes I'm trying to hit that one guy in particular. And Jacob is going to try to hit another guy. And the guy I wanted to hit initially is going to hit me. I'm like, why? Why are we hurting ourselves like that? It doesn't need to be that way. But either way, uh, what I'm trying to say is I did die, but not because the game was challenging, but mostly because the game mechanics themselves are kind of, uh, they are difficult to, to get the hang of. But, 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 to be honest, I think they really tried with the atmosphere here. They did try to set up the mood for the, you know, survival horror. You and I, we both know this is not a survival horror game. If anything, again, it's a turn-based combat game disguised as an action game, which is tried trying to be an. Anyway, it's not a. It's not. It's not going to freak you out. That's what I'm trying to say. But it has its own moments of. I don't. It's just. It's just. You feel fulfilled, right? It feels like you are having just a little bit, just a little bit of fun, right? Just a little. Just a tiny bit. At least they didn't try to, you know, to increase how many times you went to shimmy or crawl. I mean, you do crawl multiple times in advance, but but compared to the main game where shimming and crawling occur over every like every two minutes, I'll take a DLC any day. It's miles better, and I, I really hope the DLC, I mean, the the main game was like this, you know, no shimming every single time to break, you know, I don't know, just to waste your time anyway. Um, yeah, so they introduced one new enemy, the power pods, and also the final boss, which I'm not going to spoil today. I'm going to do that tomorrow, or maybe two days, because I want people to, I don't know, I just want people to get familiar with the game before I, I go balls deep into the new things, the new things and, and the very questionable things. So they did introduce two enemies, the final boss and the bio pods, you know, those new tele robots. And you do get the hammer, but you don't get to spend much time with the hammer, even though it's a it's a very good weapon. And what else? Um, oh, remember how it was annoying that you couldn't listen to um, audio logs while playing the game? You know, you had to wait in the menu. They fixed that. It took them seven months, but they fixed that. Finally, you can <laughs> listen. I mean, you don't find most, I mean too many audio logs, but this is a feature which would have been very useful in the main game but i don't understand why you have to wait for the dlc to again it, it really feels like we didn't get the Callisto protocol we got the Callisto, and now we get the protocol part which is very unfortunate it does it, it just it's just weird to me but at least it's here and remember you can you can still skip the cutscenes even though you haven't seen them before in the dlc like right off the bat you can skip everything which is good, it's always good to give the players the option. I wasn't skipping the cutscenes because I never experienced them before. But the moment they introduced the Contagion mode, Hacker mode, and all those dismemberment modes, and, and I mean, to allow people to replay the game, it has to come with, you know, being able to skip the cutscenes because, well, I'm, I'm not going to watch the same thing four times in a row, like, come on, man. So, either way, uh, they introduced I mean, you have you can skip cutscenes. I think it, it, that was introduced two updates ago, and there's also a new suit, but it's it's meh, <laughs> it's meh. And the checkpoint system is still a bit broken, 
right? The checkpoints will still overwrite your uh, your your main save, so keep that in mind. But it's not it's not you can use it at your advantage because the game is still linear and it's really hard to tell which way move the story forward. So if you like me, like taking your time and want to explore, I recommend saving before you you know you try to go one way. Because whenever you, you, you go past a certain point, you cannot go back, right? You are locked there and you cannot look, go back to get some loot or get some contest, exposition or audio logs and that's it. So yeah, I highly recommend saving before you try to go somewhere, right? And then just go back to that save and that's it. So, 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 what's the verdict when it comes to the DLC and the Kalisa Protocol as a whole? Um, like I said before, I would have preferred does this whole thing to be one big package i i don't like the fact that we get to pay to to see the ending of the game it feels kind of cheap you know uh, imagine for example that you were playing god of war you know ragnarok and there's all that build up when it comes to the war right the valkyries you recruit every single army the whole Helheim army and then right when the game is about to you know to move forward and the, with the story and you've got you're about to go to asgard <laughs> the game ends and you have to <laughs> you have to pay for i mean to to fight odin i'm like what, what, what are we doing here man either way um after 12 hours spent on the main story i think 13 or 12 hours and overall i have 30 hours with the game and the platinum trophy to show for it i think the calypso protocol is is a missed opportunity but it, it, it is by no means a bad game, but it could have been a better game, which I think is worst. I think it's worst. You know, you have bad games like Gollum, and you know they can never be more than that, a bad game. But when I think about the Kalisto Protocol, I feel like it has the potential to be better, even better than, than, than Dead Space. Even better than Dead Space. Yeah, I said it. Even better. And you can see the influence. You can see uh, that the people who were from Dead Space also were inspired and try to make a dead space game which is not dead space and some 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 sometimes they succeeded and some other times they failed and the weapons for example are too basic you know uh, the hammer is different right the hammer is very different but unless you are using the uh, the charge attack you know which you should be doing if you want to deal with those robots uh, easily, by the way, yeah. It, 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 again, this combat system does not work when you have to fight multiple enemies. So, as as long as you can keep the enemies away from you, you should by using the charge, uh, the charge kinetic thingy for the hammer. So yeah, they had the potential to make very special weapons. You know, I feel like they should have been a shooter. As opposed to being a melee focused game because uh, the melee doesn't work all the time and they do help you They know about that. They are aware of the issues So they put some environmental hazards here and there to help you better take care of enemies And I appreciate that because at least they recognize that you know the game has flaws, but that's not enough you know, they could have introduced better weapons and also uh, the, the swinging has to go. I really I, I wish listen I wish they would make a sequel or a brand new game because the foundation is here, the, the idea is here, it's just uh, the execution which is lackluster and I think they can pull it off but they have to get rid of a lot of things like the, the crawling, the shimming, the swinging, the dodging. I appreciate the idea but it, it, it doesn't work, right? And they were limited by how creative they were they, they could get with the enemies because it all comes down it doesn't matter again it doesn't matter if you introduce Odin, Thor or even uh, think about the, the hardest boss you ever encountered Sigrin in God of War it doesn't matter the moment they go into the Callisto Protocol universe they're going to start swinging left and right and that's it <laughs> so yeah it, it simplifies it simplifies the, the combat way too much and that's not good I feel like the story is I think it was interesting, but the way it concluded it's it's it wasn't appealing to me. I felt like the story could have I don't know. It felt like Dead Space towards the end with he had it with Jacob having hallucination. I I mean in Dead Space it makes sense that High Isaac would have hallucination because he was exposed to the monolith. I think that's that's the name of the, the thing. 
and it makes sense but for Jacob to have hallucination I mean it's, it's explained toward the end of the game why he's having all those visions and everything but it felt like it was Isaac again you know uh, we don't need I didn't want the Callisto to be yet another dead space I wanted the game to be its own thing sometimes it is sometimes it's not which is I mean it, it's unfortunate because it's always going to be compared to dead space which is which is weird but also it makes sense you know it is what it is so should you play this dlc um i think you should do it only if you really click through the story initially and i think if you never played the Kalisto protocol now may be the best time to do so because they fixed most of the things which were wrong with the game and also you have plenty of things to do we didn't have game plus we didn't have skippable cutscenes we didn't have uh, riot mode which is also a great addition even though it can get boring pretty fast we also have our new difficulty options you know they are paid granted some of them are paid but you know yeah we also have some new suits and the, the, the thing with the suits is that it's the same problem with the i have with the with the weapons right the way they, they look way too samey right it's like this it's like you take uh you go into paint right and you just change the color on some outfits and that's it granted some of them look very different like the tron legacy one and the hamza one but the golden and the prospector one and the May and the default one they they, they look the, the, the same like with a different shade of yellow so yeah not much happening when it comes to suits i was what about the big bunny a big bunny outfit right just go crazy it doesn't have to be that serious right you are allowed to be goofy right i would have enjoyed some goofiness either way you know what i think about the game already if not nah, you do <laughs> and yeah you can make your own opinion and try the game for yourself try the dlc and let me know i'm jiso and i'll see you around